Good evening everybody, this is Nelka again and I received another question from our subscriber and his name is Atika and he said, Hello Nelka, I am your subscribers on YouTube and I want to ask how to appear all the output documents ISO lines, grayscale, etc. like on Dialux 4.2. Thank you. Okay, I think he he missed the um, the report similar to the Dialux regular that is using now the Dialux Evo. So at Tika, I have one example here, and we will use this one to show the ice line and the grayscale. Um, okay, if you can see here now, go to the upper right most of your screen, and you can see here that there is show false color. Okay, and then this false color will show you a colors, but if you want to make it gray, then you can just change it because in the output it will show you false color like this colorful, and you cannot have a grayscale only. So if you want to produce a grayscale, then you need to adjust those colors. Okay. Um, okay. Let me show you one piece of false color here, and then. I will check if there is here. Um, okay, let's check this one. Alright, so you can see here now that this is the ice line. You can see the ice lines and these are the false colors. Okay, let's go and select other room that is empty so you can see it properly. This. Alright, so you can see here this finance office. This is the um, lighting, um, the plan, and this is the ice line, and this is the false color, and these are the value points. So if you want to make this one as grayscale, then you need to edit the scale on the false color. Okay, so let's go and check this one. So I will uncheck this one, and I'll just go and select the finance finance office so we will not hang ourselves and take so much time for this one then i'll go to this calculation i'll make it fast and then i'll say run it and then uh, you can see that um we need to adjust all those colors that you can see here at the bottom okay so this is the false color that you have and uh, dialax evo can only produce this one not the grayscale so if you want a grayscale, then you need to adjust this one. So for example, this is the, um, okay, just go and click. So you can see there's a purple here, then you need to adjust all your colors into something else. So I'll go and make this one 100. And this one, I'll make this one uh, say 5,000. Okay, or I will adjust it up to here yes and this one up to here okay and then I'll go and right click and then I'll change this one with this gray um, okay this gray this gray okay and then another one with another gray you just need to select your gray properly okay so this one um, Okay, let's go and reset it uh -huh. okay let's go and adjust this one up to here and this one up to here all right okay and then i will just make this one as grayscale um this one with i'll uh, say 50 okay and then I'll make this one as grayscale white and I'll make this one as 1000 all right and then I'll change this one into this one okay so now I have a grayscale room and if I go to the documentation, you can see you can create a screenshot even on this one. And if I go to the documentation, then I will have, for example, a grayscale. Let's see how it looks. 
all right so you can see now that i have isoline and now i have a gray scale which is not that much good because my scale is a little too far from each other because this one is three thousand and the other one is one lux so yeah but it's still possible so that's it and i hope you learned something today so if you want to know more about lighting design techniques, go and visit www.enrocolightingdesign.com or enroll in my Udemy courses about lighting designs. Um, okay, so that's it. And if you want to um, hire me, you can also see me in fiverr.com. So go and check that one. Alright, see you again on the next video. Bye!